Porch Figure Cooker Ranch. And I wanted to talk to you today about your Hoya and uh, signs of overwatering. And this plant is a, just a regular Hoya Carnosa cross, and it has some signs of overwatering that you might have seen maybe in the past. Here's a leaf that obviously just came off of the stem. It has a dark end to the petiole where it attached to the stem and then the leaf itself is starting to yellow and it also has a very black uh, or not black but a very yellow tip and so this would be the newest one you can turn this around this would be the newest one uh, leaf to have fallen off these leaves over the last couple of days have fallen off and you can see the petiole and it's black at the end. Well, that black petiole also means that the stem is not well. And you can see the succession of leaves over the last couple of days. And this shows you that there's a root problem and a st or actually a stem problem and probably goes back to the roots. You can even see the patterns within these leaves that are uh, beginning to dry up that it shows, especially with all these little spots, that the uh, plant has been overwatered. If you look at the stem itself, you can see that it's darkening right here. And that means that this plant has uh, an overwatered area of the root system. This entire stem here is is gone so you can see right here the stem is darkened and you would use a pair of clippers to clip this off and i'm not sure you can see the end of it but it's very liquidy and i don't mean liquid coming out of the center of the stem but all the way around and to save this to save this plant uh you would take all that this yellow from the darkened spot all the way up to where you start to see green again and on the end you'd see that it's got nice uh, moisture or uh, stem fluid coming out and you would stick this either into leca and water or into the soil up to the node right here you're not seeing any yellowing or anything like that on this stem even though the bottom is already the bottom of the stem is already gone. The next thing that I would suggest you do when you have a plant that has some stems that aren't looking so good is to check the root system. And so to do that, you're going to take whatever uh, hanging piece you have on and put your fingers across the top of your soil like this and then you're gonna turn your plant over and you're gonna look. Now I can see that I don't have uh, roots up here at the top, which is fine, but I do have nice white roots here on the sides, which would tell me why, would tell me why the stems on the sides are doing well. Now I'm looking for some browned roots. I'm gonna take off the end here. And I see that I have nice white roots, even, even though it's all the way around, but I do start to see some brown roots right in here. And what that means to me is that the water was sitting right in that area. And those are the roots that go to the stem that was beginning to rot. So I would actually take this over to my potting area and I would shake this off. And I would gently see, and I know this is two plants, so I would gently take them apart. And this is the, the plant that had no yellowing, but yet this is the one, the main one, that had the yellowing and the dead stem. And if you look back down at the bottom, you're going to see that the uh, browning of those roots are right in here but it's got nice white roots otherwise so I'd leave the root ball together I would trim off this stem that 
didn't look so good. Look for other stems that don't look so good. Trim those off. And then I would repot this. So I'm gonna take both of these plants over here and I'm going to repot. So the first thing you do is you make sure that you have your entire plant and um, you want to make sure your roots are right and that's what we were just doing over there and it is still kind of moist so I'm not going to water it today. I put a little bit of soil down here at the bottom. I gently place my plant into my pot and make sure that the top of my soil is just a little bit or the top of my root ball is just a little bit below that top edge usually about a finger length, uh, a joint length of your finger. That's my measuring tool. And I'm gonna put the soil in around the plant evenly. Remember, I'm, I'm not gonna fill it up. I shake it to fill in any holes that I might have had. And then I'm going to let the leaves down. And I'm going to give this plant about uh, three days to sit without that extra water to settle it because I need to make sure that the root ball doesn't get too wet. You can see here it was already beginning to travel up the stem. That is an overwatered um, plant example or indicator. So and then I would take my hanger and I would place it back on my plant and I would hang it in an area that I would be paying attention to because I know that I need to water this in three days. And you want to support your plant, uh, want to support your plant after you've got it in here. Try not to let it bend over or um, fall. And you can use butterflies to do that. These little butterflies that you, uh, I used to use them for my hair but now I know that they can be used for the plants to hold the, the stems up into the right places or the places I want them. And then there you go. Remember it's just below. Normally if it was any other, any other time and I was just repotting, I would water this a little bit to settle it. But remember the reason that we ended up repotting this plant is because it had a root problem and a water problem so we want to make sure that those roots get a a chance to dry out and then we would slowly begin to water it again that means that we would not put you know like fully water this we would water this with just a small amount of water and then come back three to five days later and a small amount of water and you're feeling your soil or using a water indicator to check this and um, it, it can be a, a really inexpensive one that costs like four dollars but the water meter goes from one to 10 and time to water is when it's be, uh, below, usually below five or close to four. So then if your water in your soil is uh, above four, uh, don't water. All right. All right guys, I'm gonna take you over to uh, show you the progress on the new greenhouse. That's greenhouse number two. And um, follow me. We put in a French drain. We're not finished with the rocks yet, but we put in a French drain so that we could drain away the water, which was a big problem for us. We have plastic all down the sides, across the top, and the shade cloth. And then the water wall or uh, cooling pads are in and functional. We don't have electricity to this greenhouse yet. And uh, we, uh, one of my sons manufactured a door is just wonderful it slides like a barn door but it's a greenhouse door and so the inside of the greenhouse is ready we need a second door and to install the heater and then we are planning on putting in a well very soon and uh, the heater will be hung right here and uh, pointed that way and it creates the heat that goes all the way around the greenhouse. We have the fans that are in that will pull the air through the water wall 
and it cools the greenhouse and makes it very comfortable for people. Plants pretty much love the heat, but people, you know, we don't. We have a, uh, a fan that's not quite put together yet, but it kind of shows you the size of the fan. It's 36 inch, and then it has uh, the shutters here so they open and close to not uh, let insects in. Okay, so here, here's the heater that's gonna go in. And uh, it's a 250,000 BTU uh, propane heater. And we already have one installed in the other greenhouse. So the uh, fans are working right now. It keeps the greenhouse around 75 to 80 degrees. And then if you look up, you can see that the new heater is installed. And it, it works automatically uh, using a temperature uh, gauge down there and it automatically comes on and keeps the greenhouse at around between 55 and 60 degrees. So this is definitely all an improvement. You can see that the greenhouse is looking really good. We don't have a bunch of yellowed plants. Uh, we have the water system, the heater, and we have the red. Now the red top is an experiment of mine and we'll tell you about that in another video. Thank you. Happy Hoyas. Bye-bye.